how do you go from this to this? Let's jump on board real quick and see just how much control we have over these brand new ocean LED underwater lights via the command center on our TZ Touch XL. One of the great things about adding HTML5 devices to your boat is the amount of control you have from Faruno's TZ Touch XL or TZT3 MFD lines right through the command center, a feature built into all TZT3 and TZ Touch XLs. What we did over the winter, we wanted to add some better underwater lights than what came with the boat when we bought it new. So we reached out to Ocean LED and we got three of their new sport color DMX lights along with their Ocean Bridge HTML5 server. And the HTML5 server is what ties everything to our boat's network. And from there, you can see I brought up the Ocean LED page and now I have complete control of those sport color DMX lights. As you saw in the opening video, we just had it set to white, which is a single color, but there is just so much more we can do. So here's my single color scene. I also added an audio scene and we'll simply tap on that. And now what you'll see is if we have the radio playing, the lights will change to the beat of the music. And I set four colors, blue, green, orange, and yellow. But if I want to change that, easily done right from the screen. We simply tap on the settings button and we get Ocean LED setup page right here. We can choose whatever colors we want. We can choose the effects we want and that can change from static to cycle, strobe, audio, and movement. Movement is the movement of the boat as you hit waves. And you can adjust the brightness and sensitivity. You can also do a Bluetooth uh, connection to the HTML5 server if you want your music to change the lights that way. Once you're all done, you simply click on done right from the screen. And now you have all of your scenes set up ready to go at the touch of a button. If I click right here, we'll start strobing. We can see I'm going to strobe from blue to green to orange to yellow. And just like the audio zone, we can simply touch on the setting screen and change that anytime we want, whether it's the brilliance or the speed of the strobe. Everything is changeable right from your Furuno TZ Touch XL MFD through the HTML5 server. And man, this is just a nice feature that works out really great. Furuno currently partners with over 35 different vendors producing HTML5 devices, so you have a lot of things to choose from, and we're adding new third-party vendors all the time. If you need more information on the Fruno's TZ Touch XL, the TZ T3, or any other Fruno product, don't forget to visit us at www.furuno.com. Hey guys, if you liked that video, but left feeling like you needed a little bit more, that's okay, I got you covered. I recorded the entire installation of the new Ocean LED underwater lights. That includes installing the underwater lights to the DMX junction boxes in the bilge to the HTML5 Ocean Bridge server from Ocean LED that I installed up in the console. So if you'd like to see more information on how all that was done, we'll drop the video link right here. Go on and watch that video. There's a lot of great information in there. If you want to see a lot of Fruno's videos from the past, you can simply go to our learning center on our website. We'll drop the link in right here. That's where you'll find a lot of our previous videos that had new product releases, product features, and just our Learning the Rope series to teach you how to use all these different features. A lot of great information there too. If you want to stay up to date on current videos as they come out, don't forget to like our Faruna Marine Electronics Facebook page, and that's where you'll see all the newest stuff readily available so you can watch it as it comes out. And if you have a question, don't forget, we also have a Faruno forum right on our website. Don't forget to check that out. A lot of great information there, and I hope to see you guys out on the water soon.